Hey, Drop Tech fans. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some exciting updates about Samsung's upcoming One UI 7.0, which will be based on Android 15. So, let's get right into it. Recently, there have been updates regarding Samsung's forthcoming One UI 7, which is set to be built on Android 15. One of the standout new features is called Large Folders. This addition is designed to simplify things for users by allowing quicker access to your most frequently used apps with just a single tap. Unlike standard folders, large folders let you open apps directly, making it faster and easier to reach the apps you use most often. With One UI, users can already organize apps into folders on the home screen or in the app drawer, keeping everything neat and easy to find. But large folders take this a step further, providing an even more convenient way to manage and access your apps. These large folders are already featured on phones with Harmony OS and Hypers. They go beyond regular folders by being larger and typically having a 3x3 grid, allowing you to access up to 8 apps with just one tap. The ninth slot shows a small icon for more apps within the folder. Tapping this icon fully opens the folder, letting you see and choose all the apps it contains. Although specifics for Samsung's One UI 7 are still a bit vague, it's expected to include a similar feature, possibly with some additional improvements for Galaxy devices. It's not yet clear if large folders will be included in the first One UI 7 beta or if they will be added in later updates. Samsung is likely to start the One UI 7.0 beta program for the Galaxy S24 series by the end of this month. The beta might be available in countries like China, Germany, India, South Korea, the UK, and the US. However, plans can change, so nothing is set in stone just yet. As of August 3rd, Samsung hasn't officially announced details about the One UI 7.0 beta on Android 15. But based on previous One UI beta programs, we can predict which Galaxy phones might get it. Here are the devices expected to receive the One UI 7.0 beta, Galaxy S24 series. Galaxy S23 series. Galaxy S22 series. Galaxy S21 series. Galaxy Z Fold 6. Galaxy Z Flip 6. Galaxy Z Fold 5. Galaxy Z Flip 5. Galaxy Z Fold 4. Galaxy Z Flip 4. Galaxy Z Fold 3. Galaxy Z Flip 3. Galaxy A55. Galaxy A54. Galaxy A35. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on these new features? Let me know in the comments section below. Despite facing delays, the beta update is finally on its way, and it promises to redefine your smartphone experience with a fresh set of animations, transitions, and a brand new feature that might feel a bit familiar. Curious? Let's dive right in. The long wait for One UI 7.0 beta. First, Let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the rollout of the One UI 7.0 beta update has been slower than expected. But according to reliable sources, it's almost here. While the exact release date hasn't been confirmed, the buzz around its features is building excitement for Samsung fans. A new era of animations. Let's talk about the animations and transitions, arguably the most exciting aspect of One UI 7. Ice Universe, a trusted tipster, recently shared some fascinating details. The screen on animation has a soothing wallpaper shrinking effect. Unlocking your phone comes with a satisfying bouncing animation. The pull-down motion introduces a spring-like rebound effect. Opening desktop apps feels smoother, thanks to a new floating style animation. Returning to the desktop, that now includes a sleek icon pattern zoom effect. Samsung has also added. A parallel animation for quickly opening multiple apps. A sliding animation for returning apps to the desktop. A press rebound micro animation in settings. Updated UI transitions for widgets, including lock screen music controls. And there's more. Real-time notifications in the desktop bar now feature elastic animations, giving the interface a dynamic and polished feel. User feedback will shape the final product. Here's the best part. Samsung isn't stopping there. Once the beta launches, these animations and features will be fine-tuned based on feedback from internal test users. So, if you're part of the beta, 
Don't hesitate to share your thoughts with Samsung, it's your chance to help shape the final version. The beta will initially roll out to Galaxy S24 series users in South Korea and the USA. A few days later, other markets, including China, Germany, Poland, and the UK, will follow. Introducing NoBar, a game-changing lock screen feature. Now, let's talk about NoBar, Samsung's innovative answer to Apple's dynamic island. Leaked images have given us a glimpse of this exciting feature, and it looks fantastic. With NoBar, Galaxy users can view real-time updates and important information directly on their lock screens. Positioned between the lock screen shortcuts, NoBar features a sleek pill-shaped design, blurred background for enhanced readability, integration with apps like Samsung Clock's timer and voice recorder. Essentially, think of Android's call timer pill, but taken to the next level. Samsung has polished and expanded this idea to include more dynamic and functional elements. Future app integrations and user control. Currently, NoBar works with stock apps like Clock and Voice Recorder, but there's speculation that third-party apps will also adopt this feature soon. Samsung is also giving users the flexibility to disable NoBar if it doesn't fit their style, ensuring you have full control over your lock screen's appearance. Call to action. That's all for today, Drop Tech fans. What do you think about these new features in One UI 7.0? Are you excited to try out the new animations in NoBar? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech updates. Also, make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.